Do 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 do. There we go. Was I muted? Am I muted now? Hello. <laughs> Not anymore. Hello everyone, welcome in or welcome back to my channel if you're returning. Hey, if you're new here, buckle up. I always say buckle up and I don't know why because that seems strange and odd. Anyway, hi, hello and welcome to my page. If you are new, I am Courtney Quarantine. I am a full-time content creator, variety streamer and I make content on YouTube that is usually centered around makeup. If you would like to see other stuff like travel vlogs and things, let me know. Um, I do have other exclusive content on my Patreon as well as other socials. If you want to check that out, it will be in the description. If you're interested in my streaming schedule as well, right now I'm doing a lot of indie horror or like cozy games. So that will be down in the description as well if you want to come hang out on Twitch. That is where I'm streaming currently. So I'm gonna be using a palette that I haven't used today and it is the Chucky palette from Glam Light. It's probably in the title, so maybe you already could tell that. Or if it wasn't, surprise, that's the palette I'm gonna use. <laughs> it's not that funny, but whatever. I have nothing up here. Why do I only start filming and like, there's nothing. I'm not a mirror, not a nothing. Make it make sense, it doesn't, so you can't. I have not even had that much caffeine and I'm literally so hyper. Um, but yeah, if you were returning, also thank you so much for coming back to my channel and my page, and I really, really appreciate it. Any kind of engagement with this, I would just thank you so much. I love long form content, it's just so much fun. I love short form, I just, I love it all, so, um, but this, I just, I love it so much. Let me get the palette. Oops, oh my god, my water. Do 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 Y'all, I have, this is, it has been a crazy couple of months for me. I hope everyone is doing well and hanging in there. Please uh, let this be like a little self-care pause. If you need to get some water, if you need to get a snack, if you need to, there's a med check too, if you need to take your meds. I, I think I need to go do that. So please feel free to do so while I get set up. If you're just chilling and vibing with me. Oh my God, hello. Oh, why don't I get ready beforehand? But you know, my sponge is still damp. Listen. Also, if anyone was wondering, um, I'm gonna start mentioning what nail polish I have on, or I'm gonna at least try to remember. I have had Dark Horse on my nails for a week or something now. Actually, I don't know how long. I painted them not so great. Like I was very, uh, it was like two or three a.m. when I was painting them before I had to leave for flight at uh, like. 3 or 4 a.m. So it wasn't the best nail polish painting moment I've ever had in my life. So I do have a tiny little chip on the front. When I was going through security, I was absolutely scrambling, grabbing something, and that like never happens. Uh, but anyway, I love Moon Cat Polish. I've talked about it a million times. Um, I keep them in these little, in the little thingies with their name on them. Anyway, I have like an organized situation. I love Moon Cat so much. Shout out to Moon Cat but I am wearing Dark Horse and it is phenomenal. It has this beautiful bronzeness and then it shifts to like a green, like a deep olive green. I'm literally obsessed with this shade. Um, I didn't film me doing, like painting them. Typically I do. I did not have the time and I was not about to go and not have my nails this color while I was in New York. I just couldn't do it. Cause I'm extra, even though that's not even extra. Do -do 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 -do. A little puffy puff and a little poofy poof. Side note, I'm also really loving my unearthly green brushes. These, God, they're so hot. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh my God. Oh, it's fine, I almost fell. Mirror, still. Okay, here's the palette. I haven't opened it yet, I'm so. Oh, hi. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Come here. Yeah, come here. I'm gonna get you. Hi, baby. Come here. I know. You wanna say hi? Say hello? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Look at this. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. You wanna sit with me? I love you. Oh, yes. Yes, kitty. She's also excited for the makeup look. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, I love her so much. She's so cute. And I'm gonna have cat hair all over my face because I have moisturizer. It's gonna stick. Okay, let's get back to this palette. She's sitting in my lap. She, You can barely not see her. Her head's like right here. Oh, she's so precious and cute. She's gonna sit on my lap. That's great. That's fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just thought pets were not for me before. PD is for me though. Anyway, before I start crying, let's begin with the makeup portion. <laughs> okay, so this is the Chucky palette from Glam Light. It has the like, what is it called when it does the thing? Crazy in love? That's kind of cute. I've never seen Chucky, so I don't know. 
I guess they're in love. Crazily. Cute. I really like the shades in this. I don't like aesthetic wise. Ooh, I'm not into like Chucky with the hair and the overalls situation. Is it Tiffany? Is Tiffany the Tiff? Tiffany? The icon with the lipstick? Yeah. Anyway. Legends never die. In honor of celebrating the 35th year anniversary of Chucky, Chucky and Tiffany have teamed up with a glam light to create the most killer makeup collection in history. Inspired by the infamous killer doll love story, the Chucky X glam light palette is all you need to create endless to die for makeup looks. It's time to blend for your life and play to the end. Cool. Love that. All right. Time to open. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. My God. My God. I love maroon shadows. I love berry wine tone colors. And tell me that that's not literally so gorgeous. Let me show you close up. Look at those shades, dude. The shimmers alone also look so stunning and gorgeous. But that kind of like maroon tone, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I am so thrilled that now this is very, um, if you've seen my Glam Light X Scream video, if that's already up before this, that one is very blue tone grays. If you want to see my thoughts on that, that will be in that video. Oh dear Lord, don't get me started on it. But these, I saw these and I was like, mm, yeah. So this is technically a birthday gift from the Ferals. So thank you so much. Shout out to the Ferals. I love this. I like the little imprinted stuff. Like those are, those are super cute too, but this is just the vibe these shimmers already glam light shimmers have that really soft smooth buttery like almost wet consistency they're so gorgeous i want to eat them like i don't know how to express like how much they glide so well they stay so well they don't crease they don't leave your eye like in my experience from the shadows that i've tried from them i've done i've tried the michaela part one and two palettes and then the icy collection which i do absolutely adore if they still have that you like reds and blues highly recommend those both of those the um scream palette and then now this one so I'm, I'm really into what i have from them so far and what i've tried i'm very very impressed these are some of my favorite shadow formulas and i think oftentimes i forget because um, i have like my rotation of palettes that i use a lot but these clam light ones especially for the size as well like just comparison wise what are the 5 10 15 shades so really like these compact but pack a punch Hopefully this one will be the same. I think I have. Now maybe I'm getting my hopes up a little high, but also it's too late. I've gone too far. I'm just going to use this P. Louise base because um, I've had it for forever. And I have a giant one. This is in Rumor 05. I'm just going to prime my eyes with that and get into it. I already have like kind of a look in mind and I'm very excited. Uh. Oh my god, excuse me. Now what I'm not going to do is sit here and lie to you. So my brushes aren't perfectly clean, but I'm going to get them as close as I can or just like wipe them on this little, this disgusting, um, this is just a little hand towel thing. I'm just going to do that because frankly I don't have the time. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in mostly with these maroon shades because I'm really excited about that. Starting with this one over here, this is scarier than ever me. I'm just gonna tap into it a little bit and then tap right on a little above my crease actually. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, picking up some more. Yep, it's pretty pigmented. Yeah, I like that a lot. I already love this shade. This shade alone has that kind of like purpley reddish tone to it, which I quite enjoy. I know sometimes people are like, ah, oh, yes, the color of a bruise, which I kind of refrain from saying most of the time because, you know, that is quite nice. Also, reds and purples are just like tricky shades to number one, make. Number two, sometimes they can be a little finicky. I think blues sometimes as well. You find a good blue, hold on to that for dear life. Oh, I quite like that. That is nice. And whatever I do on one side, I'm gonna just copy on the other. This also, this brush is from Unearthly, the orange set. Code Courtney with Unearthly. I love them so much. If you're curious about any of my other codes, I will include those in the description box as well. As always, no obligation, but I do appreciate it. Cute, cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this shade over here, which is Till Death Do Us Part. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Oh, Lord. And I'm just gonna run that into the cre yep into the crease and just like i suspected god that's gorgeous i knew i would love this shade okay perfect perfect i'm gonna put a little bit on the outer bit but leave the main part of the lid kind of bare but oh 
baby. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, I didn't need to go in that heavy with this second little bit, but I'm gonna bring this up higher and higher and higher. You know how it goes. I like that quite a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah, G. Okay. I wonder if you can hear her when she's meowing like that. I don't know. Maybe you can't. What do you think? That shade rocks, dude. That shade, glorious. Yep, it's like a black cherry kind of vibe. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm thinking, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, baby. Oh, I'm really torn between these two um, here and here. These two would be this one and this one. This is, I like to be hugged in Play Pals. I kind of want to use Play Pals first and just pat it on the lid to see. It's a little bit darker. So I think I'm just gonna take it on the same brush and kind of like pat it down. I don't know if it's dark enough. So I'm gonna take I Like To Be Hugged and put it on top. Oh, oh bitch. Oh, yep, yeah. Now using a fluffy brush for that probably wasn't great for fallout, but I don't actually see any fallout, so that's weird. But I'm gonna take the same thing. I'm gonna take a little bit of Play Pal since that's what I did before. And then I'm going to take mostly the darker one, this one right here, this one. I like to be hugged, beep boop boop, and put it on top. God, those are stunning. It is like almost black. And that's why I think I like it so much because it's like black with a, that purple and a bit of red undertone it is gorgeous. That is so stunning. That is very hot also, I will say. That is a hot color. Ooh, yeah. So I'm just going to keep building that up, blending it into the crease, and then I most likely will be taking the other shade that I put in the crease before the Till Death Do Us Part and bringing that up higher and higher. That's kind of how I like to layer when I do like a smoky dark lid color like this. I go back and forth between the lid color and the crease color to kind of see where I want the gradient to kind of lay out. I hope that that makes sense. In my brain it does. You certainly don't have to do it this way though, for sure. I'm bringing it up higher and higher. That is really nice. I'm gonna go back to that first brush actually and do the tool death do us part and really not be afraid. Bringing that up pretty high. It's gonna be a little dramatic, but like not really. You know what I mean? My level of like dramatic has gone down a lot. I'm like, that's not even that crazy. I don't know if it's just like the looks that I see and like see other people doing, but I'm like, oh, that's chill. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, dainty, light glam. <laughs> I try to match the shape of these. You like it? Okay. Cool. I got the seal of approval. I'm going to go back to scarier than ever. I'm going to actually try to be very, yes, yeah, very light with this and just kind of buff out the edges because it look it's looking a little too start yes kitty okay oh no pd's in menace mode is it do you not want me to film kitty is that the thing oh you need a toy <laughs> okay i have a little shadow like right here but that's fine because i was like putting my eyeshadow there but that right now woo, 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 that's yes kitty it's exactly what i was wanting with this look it's even more like purpley than I thought, but not in a way that's like so purple that it's over the top or, or taking over. Okay, now before I move on to shimmer, I'm gonna do the lower lash line and I think I'm gonna do what I usually do with all of my looks recently. Well, most of my looks recently. I do a about face eye paint underneath as like a primer because I want there to be, I don't wanna prime my eyes with something that's like gonna block out color. I want the priming thing to have color in it. Makes sense. I'm going to take this. This is Vintage Granada and I'm going to run it. Yup. I knew this one would be literally perfect. That is spot on perfect. This one is perfect for a lot of looks I have found. I'm going to take a little dot just straight from the little applicator onto my B2 from Blend Bunny. Take that. Yeah, dude. It's literally perfect. Buffing that out. And I'm not going to worry too much about the preciseness of this because I'm going to pack shadow on top of it. But as a base layer, that is perfect. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I'm going to take actually, I think till death do us part, that maroon shade that I put in the crease. And I'm going to run it slightly over the entire way. Just kind of like mostly tapping it down to get that red tone in there. And then I am going to do, God, this is looking so good already. And I'm 
feeling it. Yeah, and now I kind of want to use the black shade, but I also just want to keep using I Like to Be Hugged, so that really dark purple, purpley black, I'm going to put on the edge. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Oh, <gasps> that is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous shade. Oh my god, okay. Do, 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 do. I just keep taking more and more. Make it a little more dramatic. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Now for the shimmer. I truly feel unready. I can't decide. I want to do one of the red shimmers, but I also, this issue 666, that's like kind of a purpley dark shimmer. I actually think I need to use that. The Chucky and Tiff Forever. It's kind of like a taupey silver. Hold on, I have a cat. But I'm really torn because they all look so Dang gorgeous. But I think, okay, so the middle one over here, I can't show you again because I have to pet Pete right now, but the middle one over here, that shimmer, it's like dark and purpley, maroonish. I'm gonna just touch that really quickly because I, I have to. This is issue 666. Yep, it feels so glorious. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, I have to use that. Your pal since 98 is a black shimmer, which looks so good too. Chuck and Tiff, Chucky and Tip Chuck. Chucky and Tiff Forever. Let me just see. Ooh! Oh! And the silver, Wanna Play? Oh god, that is so soft. Holy shit, that's soft. Holy! Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. All right, I think the consensus is these are all really gorgeous. I do, I kind of want to see what it's showtime is as well. That is my kind of shimmer. This is my kind of coppery red black shimmer. I love shades like this. I have used over the years probably so many shades that remind me of this or this kind of vibe. This is actually so glorious. Obviously, I've never used this one before, so it is one of a kind. But similarly, tones like this, I will use up completely. Scraping the corners of the pan of the eyeshadow palette or the single shade. This kind of tone, yeah, I'm gonna have to do like a more red look at some point. I need to use issue 666 though because that just looks really cool. This one on my, this one? I'm just going to put it kind of all over the lid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's way more purpley. Kind of reminds me of that cosmic shade from Black Moon Cosmetics that I'm literally addicted to right now. I can't get enough of that thing. That's stunning. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I do not have a lot of tones specifically like this that have purple and that like red and black in it. But when I do, oh lord, y'all. There's a brown and dollhouse that has like the tiniest bit of purple that kind of this kind of reminds me of as well. But this, this is truly stunning. This feels very, mm -hmm. yeah, that is so good, dude. That is so good. <laughs> I'm supremely happy with that. I think because I really like that um, It's Showtime shade, that red shimmer so much, I think I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. I'm just going to take, this is a Melt Round Detail Mini. I love Melt brushes. Shout out to Melt. I'm going to take a little bit of that shade on this and just kind of run it down to bring in more of the red shimmer. Yeah, it's very, very slight, obviously, because it's on my lower lash line. That's really pretty, though. I like that a lot. Bring it all the way across. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I know some people don't like shimmer on the bottom, but like, why? That looks sick. Bring it down a little bit too. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Very, very into that. I'm going to take the tiniest bit. Ooh, do I want to take, I think I want to take a little bit of this, the silver and just put it like, boop, like right in the center of my, oh God, that's not a little bit. That, oh God, that shimmer, that silver does not mess around. Pap, pap, boop, into the palette. And then I'm just going to put like the littlest bit like right there. Yeah, just to add a little dimension, a little dimension. Yeah, come on now. Look at that. Oh, I hope you can see like the detail of that. I will make sure to get closer or something. God, this looks like stars. I love that. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Ooh, baby. I really like that. I am obsessed with this eye look. Yes. That is where the shadow is currently. I'm liking it a lot. I think that is stunning in these tones. Right up my alley. I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner, mascara, and all that, and I will be right back. Hello? Holy crap, I forgot to film the end of this. 
That was literally horrifying and makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> Oops. But hi, I'm back with everything all done. I've been wearing my makeup for um, the whole day now, so I have to say it looks fabulous. I like it a lot. I would usually go over my eyeliner one more time to make it extra dark, but I like that it's kind of smoky. And also, I'm going to put on this lip gloss. This is one I made at Lip Lab. You can get it. It's called Demon. It's incredible. It's amazing. And I love it because I made it. Well, I didn't make it with my own hands, but like shade-wise, you know. I don't have to explain it to you. If you don't know, I have made um, lip colors at Lip Lab a couple times now, and it's been a fantastic thing. Love Lip Lab so much. This is actually such a magical experience, but this is Demon. This is mine. I named it. It has a bunch of lore behind it, but we're not going to cry right now. We could, and crying is loud, but yeah, I'm just going to put it on. <laughs> yeah, it's literally perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to put on a lip liner though, actually. I'm just going to kind of leave it like this. My lips are a little stained from um, a lipstick, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kitty, yes. I agree. Anyway, this is the finished look with this palette. This Chucky palette, I have to say, it's kind of a 10 out of 10. I, the only thing I don't like is that, like, I, I guess I just don't really like the dolls. Like, maybe it's because I haven't seen it, but, like, Chucky, you freak me out a little bit. You're screaming at me all day. Oh, Lord, dude. I love you. Want to sit? Take that with what you will. I will say the color story, the quality, fantastic. I love that there's a mirror in this palette too. Like this just is a fantastic palette. This is my kind of tones. If you like these kinds of maroon, like purpley, red, black shimmers that'll rock your world, I would suggest this, honestly. But yeah, I like this a lot. I think this is great. I don't actually feel like I need to say anything more about this because I love this look so much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap this up now, honestly, because I'm kind of crunched for time, but I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did like this video and you want to give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you want to comment literally anything, comment your favorite horror movie, no spoilers, please, but comment your favorite, like, scary movie or, like, scary series. If you're not into scary stuff, comment your favorite, like, cozy rewatch for this time of year. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. You want to see more. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Okay. I am literally forgetting everything today. Lower lash mascara. Jesus. If I would have forgotten to film this, I tell you what. I would have been real pissed. I would have been real pissed. Okay. Very upsetty spaghetti I would have been. Very. Okay. Love you. Bye!